Hey everyone, it's Christina from Christina of Light. Thank you for visiting with me here. When you watch my videos, you're always in a protective bubble of love and light watched over by all my guides and angels. I'm in much gratitude to, to them for this. This is my Tuesday Cosmic Eye message for, every, for anyone who's interested or was called to it. Um, I just want to give you all a heads up. My dogs are guarding the house from a squirrel attack right now. <laughs> if, any of, if any of you have dogs, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> We've got an abundance of squirrels outside right now and they're all over the place. I've tried to calm them so I just uh, hopefully they'll, they'll settle, settle down now. <laughs> but um, um, so a couple days ago um, uh, Jesus had um, and Mother Teresa had come to me and said that um, they'd be part of my cosmic eye message today and uh, the side message from all of this that I and needed to speak about is is through via several um, men over the course of time uh, little bit of time I have been shown uh, a lot of men who are the main caregivers for their children now and um, I have known that there it's a lot of hard work for them and that they don't get the support like women do um, and protections um, and it's extremely hard f for them to have to the laws support the women but when the men have custody of be, become the main child bearers are the only ones um, it's extremely difficult for them and there's less of a support system for them um, in many 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 ways and so um, I got into a conversation with somebody I know the other day and I was shown um, my, a lot of my messages tend to come via other souls and this came to the forefront I was presented the evidence and then through the course of time and then the souls start reaching out to me to um, shine a light on this um, so uh, Jesus also wanted Jesus is present with me so I can channel or they can be present with me um, I uh, he's been very prominent with me the past few days he is to my left his his right hand is on my left shoulder as you would normally see him is how he appears to me on my left hand side Um, I am a much so I am incredibly grateful that I have allowed myself to expand and open to my spiritual path and I'm no longer in fear of taking those steps forward and I have embraced it as we all should when it's presented to us in our lives as we have these capabilities but it's whether or not we're open to them in our lifetimes I opened up to mine in this lifetime and I'm incredibly grateful it's a very difficult journey um, it's not for the faint of heart absolutely not but I will tell you I'm incredibly grateful now and I so much love it um, having gone through it and everything but having the capability to do this and be in this position where I'm able to be in um, a conduit is incredible it's humbling and incredibly honoring um, but I take it of the utmost seriousness and duty uh, I have taken on this to um, honor it as it should be honored 
am incredibly grateful that I am so blessed to see what I see and hear what I hear and I believe me you it, a lot of it isn't isn't good um, but a lot of it is amazingly beautiful and I'm so grateful um, I'm so honored um, but in any case the message um, it he wants me to have you see if you would close your eyes and see him he's standing on the mountain looking over the land very very high up pointing across them and reassuring us that through love and pathways that many 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 are coming to aid and assist in this venture now to be rest assured that the balance is coming to this that you have taken on sir service he is appearing here in this message today to speak of service as he does in my messages but that he is here in this message he wants you all to know that those who have chosen to shine their light in love in this manner will be honored supported and protected now that those of you who have stepped up and in their true honor of their light path the essence of why we are here to love one love his love god love that it is in that honor that you have honored the children in this way that you have laid the groundwork and carved a path for those in the future that there is in the forefront there are protections coming to help aid the path for those that you broke ground for to support in the paths forward now he is in much gratitude to you for this and in the support of your fellow soul light tribes very happy he is very happy I can see him with his hand on his chest smiling and just I the love is 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 pouring off of him I can see more light shining off of him as he holds his heart with his left hand his right hand is on my left shoulder and he he's he says in love always walk in love it is the essence of you and why we are here and why we do what we do band together in that love and continue to shine that light okay he's he's uh, gone quiet for a moment he's still with me mother Teresa would like to add she's also been very very much with me as of late it it is in this time she is saying that it is of the utmost importance that for those of us who recognize our lights and how important it is that we've been in the shadows that that integration that we've allowed to occur in our lives that we see it that we felt it that we embrace that ebb and flow through shadow and through that light that we continue to walk sharing that light 
upon the earth in our service. This is a message of service in the in that um, there are many of us who are called to action now. And what you need to understand about what Jesus and Mother Teresa are here to say is that in just your being in your light, whether it be through creating, through your art, through the words you convey, through your acts of, say, the father of being the sole provider for the children, of his children, for whatever has occurred in their situations and helping to support through that love and that light, it is those services that those of us through everyday means in our lives are shining our light. They want you to understand that the importance of that, that for those who shine in the spotlight in this manner are the true heroes. It is through your everyday presence of shining that light that you must understand is, as we would say, those Hollywood actors and actresses and so forth that are put on a pedestal, if you will, some may be shining a light, but it is, however, in the true essence of our being in our light, that through everyday service of our light, when people aren't seeing you in a spotlight, as we would see on a stage, that you are on your own stage shining your light, and it is that light that means something that is of the utmost importance right now and every day. That is shining the light. That is shining in love. You are the hero every day and every second of your life by doing the work shining your light. There is shadow in that. But you are the true warrior, the light warrior, by walking these paths that we all take. They need us to understand that you are in service when you are doing these things that we see as just mundane, as drudgeries of life, if you will, it, these are the true meanings of shining your light, walking the love path, the light path, ebbing in and out of shadow as we all need to do at times, because that's the true light warrior path. We, we do not know what it is to walk in light without walking in shadow. We need to walk in shadow and embrace where we've been to walk forward to understand the path ahead, to be the teachers of the future, of shining our light on those who will come after us. That is legacy. That's the legacy of light. That's a legacy of love. It is in that that you find love. You understand love. Are capable of the essence of love. You understand how it is to be without. To come to a place where where you embrace it. It is in that humility, that grace, 
you find that thank you um, so please if you take anything from the message from them today is to please understand that every step we take is important That please do not underestimate your power, your limitless being on this planet. That through love, light, and even in that shadow time, we are learning and teaching. And it is so important for us to understand that at this time there is an incredible change taking place on the planet right now we are evolving incredibly at a, a huge pace very fast the planet is changing mother gaia is evolving we are one with her and we are changing with her all of the ascended masters our guides our angels they are all helping to animal spirits are all helping to support us right now it is so important that no matter what you see before you, things crumbling, things falling, missiles, deaths, whatever you see that you need to understand, there is a larger picture through death and destruction is rebirth. To please have faith and love and no matter what shadow you walk through, there is always a light at the end of the tunnel. We are all being watched over, guided, and protected. There, there needs to be an understanding that even in silence that this is occurring. just gonna gather myself for a second that was an intense intense message I'm being shown multiple images right now you know like when you're watching in a, um, a movie where a hostage is being held and they're being showed a television with very graphic things I'm being showed showed that but I'm also being shown um, a rebirth I'm being shown the rebirth of the planet I'm being shown harmony being shown every little breath breathing in but breathing out love as we become more energetic beings on this planet we are energetic beings, but as we understand how capable and large that is, how vast that is, the more powerful we become and that becomes for us. That sustainability, that structure, that foundation that lays the groundwork for the future roads ahead. Ancestors, want us to know that karmic ties are being broken of past
being shown the bees coming back to life. I'm watching the earth heal right now. What I'm being shown is two separate worlds, the old and the new. I'm being shown words of deceit. fake, masks, illusions, I'm showing a thumb holding the people down. That is a thumb of fear. Jesus wants to remind us, <laughs> 1 John 4, 18, there is no fear in love. that all is possible in love. This is a joyous occasion. Through meditation and guidance, empowerment, I'm showing this, the scales balancing and the tables turning. The energy has shifted from a, a backwards way of being. You have to be shown here meaning us in the 3D on this planet, multiple times what doesn't serve any longer. As a, <laughs> as a plant, I've just been talking about this, a plant that has outgrown its pot, you must give it a l larger room to grow. We are growing for the better. And as this growth occurs, it is all that no longer serves that falls away. But in that falling away, those who are teachers shining their light teach those that they, they are to evolve now as well. I'm being showed the chariot and the chariot card. So this is fast movement, as I was saying earlier. being shown Jesus with a fish from the sea he walks to the sand on the beach puts it on the sand And then he puts it back in the water. And there are many fish in the water now. There is a rainbow. There are schools of fish everywhere.
he sits crisscross applesauce. on that beach in the distance I see his cross up on the hill behind him to his left over his shoulder now he is sitting with the, th with the crown of thorns on him I want you to want you to remember who he is. What he represented. His true essence. Not the man made kind. He needs us to understand the difference because there is the true story of him the authenticity of him that bears witness to and to understand how important our authenticity is now. It is in our authenticity where we find unconditional love the unconditional love he has for us. We must understand it is of critical timing that for those like Christina who understand this to start to be in our authentic selves and speak that word. We are the teachers, the shamans, the healers. It is in shining that light, unconditional love is spread through the light, through the light souls. He wants us to know that being shown him walking through the streets barefoot I'm feeling his knowing I'm understanding the knowing that he had of the love that exists uh, for us for the, at that time and till now that it never faded away it is through illusion and misguidedness that those have lost their way and allowed false illusions 
and masked entities. to misuse shadow to allow the taking of the light of our lights that must not happen anymore I'm being shown him he's still to the left of me but he's on a mountain pointing across the lands again saying that everyone everywhere is all light and love do not fail to not honor it I'm being shown the archangels now. They're all appearing. There's so much bright light now. It's incredible. There's so much bright light, it's shadow now. I'm being shown that um, shadow and light coexist. But there is an illusion of both, but they must be seen in the authenticity, not in the illusion. There is a misinterpretation of them. Those who utilize fear on this planet elude us with this it mustn't be that way anymore he says I feel you must understand this now He's putting his hand back on my my left shoulder, his right hand on the shoulder, and he's, thank you. He's saying that he, <laughs> please, it's good. <laughs> he is worried about me channeling this much intenseness for this long. And he just wants to tell us all that we are all loved. And that Wishes that we all knew how much we all loved. <laughs> By him. wants us to walk not in love for him but in love for ourselves and what he represented and 
that if he do it. We can all do it too. <laughs> he says it's time for him to go now. <laughs> because this has been hard on <laughs> me. says he'll come back in another time. being shown Mother Teresa. I'm in her right now. She's presenting to me what she sees. I, I'm... Her hand is mine right now. She's putting her hand on people. She's explaining how when I touch people, I can feel and see things. She's showing me that that's what she would do. That was her understanding. How she would feel people's pain. She would see the light in their eyes. She knew where to walk. And she, it didn't matter to her where that walk brought her. That in that walking, she saw immense suffering. And it broke her heart. She wanted to take it all away. <laughs> she was a diligent light. She's this. She stayed on that path to aid, to be of service, to honor her light, her true essence. And she sees that in us all. And she needs us to understand that we, we need to be doing that too. She says we are the true heroes for this. We are the light warriors. Please find your strength. I'm being shown shadow and light again. It is in that interwoven shadow and that light. We find true love. We bear witness to who we are. What we are here for. <laughs> she wants you to know that she has kissed me and to thank me for channeling her message. 
She just wants us to know how important this time is in this critical mass that I speak of. That it is of critical mass now that light workers be of service. Our creativity is so valuable right now. Our energy and love is needed on this planet. And that we need to step up. <laughs> she made a joke. She said we're here to We are hired to shine our light. I find that ironic since we're supposed to be shining our light. This was so. <laughs> she's holding my hand and she's thanking me. I thank her. I'm so honored. I know. Thank you. I guess I'm gonna have to keep Kleenex in here from now on. Oh my dear God. Okay, everyone's it's done. <laughs> I had read my. That's the most intense channeling I've done since I've been able to channel. I remember everything. I always watch my videos afterwards because I don't always remember. Oh my god, I'm so tired. This is um, a river rock and this is um, my shiny angel. I needed to stay clear and grounded as possible. So prior to this I needed you all I need you all to know that um, first of all, thank you for watching. Um, I had been shown earlier today that my expansion would be great through, I've had my most intense, um, integration of light codes the past couple days. And um, my um, expansion of that was shown to me earlier today. I knew I was integrating a lot because my body fatigue was incredible the past couple days. But I'm being guided to say before we... I, I had... I had stuff to say, but I don't even remember anything anymore. <laughs> so I think um, that was just enough uh, for me to have channeled. But I'm being guided to talk to you, lastly, about truth. And being, I always am guided to the words integrity, truth, faith, belief. I'm being told to talk to you about humor. <laughs> um, laughter is the, the earth's best medicine right now, I hear. But 
being in our truth, in our essence of being right now, I'm hearing that word, those words, critical mass again. Anyways, truth, people. Truth and integrity. I think their message probably speaks for itself at this point, so I gotta go ground and replenish my energy because I am in a, a haze right now. I just took a lot out of me. <laughs> so I'm just going to end it here without continuing on in any sort of conclusions. I think probably Jesus and Mother Teresa of, of all says it all. And I'm going to have to go back because I know I missed some of what they've said. So. Anyway, thank you for joining me um, for my Tuesday Cosmic... I had to think of <laughs> Tuesday Cosmic got a message. <sighs> I'm off from work tomorrow, and I'm off from doing any messages tomorrow, and I believe I will be taking that time to regain my energy. Okay? Thank you so much again. Peace and love, everyone.